Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Mark, chapter 10, verses 42 and 43. Mark, chapter 10, verses 42 and 43. And it says, but Jesus called them to himself and said to them, you know that those who are considered rulers over the Gentiles lorded over them and their great ones exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you, but whoever desires to become great among you shall be your servant. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know that those who are considered rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you, but whoever desires to become great among you shall be your servant. Amen. Is that if you have this, you want to be great, you know, I'm going to make you a servant in the sense of a, a punishment. Uh, although he can do that because he needs to humble us. But the truth is, serving is greatness in the kingdom of God. That is what the kingdom of God is all about. He doesn't bless us with jobs and situations for us to be domineering over people. The Lord has called me to lead this church. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here for you. And we're all here for each other. This is God's way, is to serve one another, to put everyone else's interests above our own. That's what's great in the kingdom of God. You want to be used powerfully for God? Have a servant's heart. Ask for a servant's heart. Put everyone else above yourself, and God will take care of us. Praise the Lord. That's what he does. Matthew chapter 20, verse 28 Jesus said, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, to give his life as a ransom for many. And God has called us to give our life, not as a ransom because he paid that price, but as a living sacrifice for others. Serving is the blessing, not just in the church, wherever we are, whatever our job is, whether we're in school, whatever we do, it's to do it to serve not to dominate, not to gain power and control. That's the devil in the ways of this world. But for us to be God's hands and feet who serves all. This is where the blessing lies. This is how greatness is in the kingdom of heaven. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you for, for this word today. Thank you for reminding us, no matter what you give us, whatever responsibilities, you're not giving it to us to dominate and to exercise control. You're giving it to us so that we can be a blessing to others and make things better because that's what you want. So check our hearts today and give us a servant's heart and glorify your name through our lives. We will never regret it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord.